Uganda, Kenya and Tanzania were officially confirmed as the hosts of the 2027 CAF Africa Cup of Nations on the 27th of September this year, which left majority of football fans in jubilation. Now Parliament has moved a motion to congratulate collectively the governments of Uganda, Kenya and Tanzania for a successful Pomoja bid to host the 2027 AFCON. You know, the first time East Africa is hosting these games uh, is winning a bid. 1996, Kenya won the bid to host Africa Cup of Nations. Six months to the tournament, it was taken away and gave, given to South Africa. So we must be very ready for this tournament if we are to host it. The move of the motion, who is the woman representative of Oyam District alum Santa Sandra Ogwang, says that the hosting of AFCON will give Uganda an opportunity for business, tourism, and also talent development. Right, Honorable Speaker, we have got a chance, and we are really very happy for this opportunity. And it comes with a lot of significance to us. First of all, we are now, and we have joined the light countries that have hosted AFCON. Former Sports State Minister now representing workers in Parliament, Charles Bakabulinde, called upon Ugandans to stop the negative comments about Uganda hosting AFCON. That we want to call upon our society to stop their negative comments. Instead of encouraging the team and the all other stakeholders, they will look for negative state sentiments on how the government cannot afford. You have heard the statement from the Minister of Education when we hosted the White Cross Country Champion. Thank you. Other legislators called for a speedy construction of infrastructure. We need timely execution of uh, all the infrastructure enhancements. This will only be possible if roles are given on merit. But now, after her winning this bid, government is obliged to construct new stadium, and those stadiums are going to put a, 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 a very big block on the development of sports in the country. This will be the 36th edition of the competition and will be the very first time it's hosted by the three countries. Because adequate stadiums adhering to international standards and equipped with proper facilities are imperative as per the requirements, government admits there is a challenge in adequate sports infrastructure and funding against other competing priorities. Shaida Tinnasaku, Shamim Naiga, UBC News.